and that would expose this top part. Now on the AK47S this is where the battery would go and it would be a seven cell what they call an AK type battery which is a long tube of batteries which would then plug in here you would put this top back on and the battery would be in place That's here it. before the battery for this is now in the rear stock and it's a much bigger battery so it, we place it in there after it's had a full charge it will last two or three full game skirmishes what I also decided when I upgraded this was to change the AK-47 magazines that I used and I purchased these high cap magazines which again are smooth black molded they're 600 round magazines high caps um, and with most high cap magazines they have a wheel on the bottom that winds them up and a trap door at the front where you can pour in the 600 BBs this is the wheel and on most high caps that you turn to charge the BBs up through up into this hole here. This is the trap door. I'll pop it open. You fill it up and just close it down. I have two of these for this AK-47. And I think they go with it rather nicely. Now the magazine release lever is down here in front of the trigger guard and it's a question of holding the magazine using your thumb, push the lever forward and the magazine comes out. This is the magazine release lever. You hold the magazine, put your thumb on the lever, push the lever forward and the magazine will come out. Now there is one other magazine that I use with this AK-47 and it's this drum magazine. It's a star automatic feed drum magazine. It's 2,500 rounds. It's made of metal. It sits in the AK-47 like this and you now have 2,500 rounds the release is exactly the same you grab the drum thumb on the release lever and it comes out this is the AK-47 drum magazine that I use 2,500 rounds and it's made by Star and it's all metal Again, it's like a high cap magazine in that you open this door here and you can pull your 2,500 BBs through here. But the other method is this, this knob here can come undone and I'll unscrew it now. The front plate will come off. Got to be careful with it. There we are. This is the reservoir for the BBs. Here you have the mechanism for feeding the BBs up into the weapon. And over here, this is the battery, two AA batteries with an on off switch. So before you start a skirmish, you have to take the top off. I just tip using my plastic bottles all the BBs in here, switch it on. Put the plate back on over it. Screw it up. This lever here is used 
if you're using the trap door to fill it, you push the lever down, which expands the space for the BBs to go into, pour them in, and you know you'll get 2,500 in. As they you start, this lever springs forward, and it will gradually come to a halt a bit higher up. And you know you're empty, so you open up the hatch, slide this lever down, and just pour all your BBs in during the skirmish. But before the skirmish starts, you open up here, fill it up, switch the pump on for the electric motor, and it's all ready to feed. I purchased it as an AK-47S second hand. Over time, decided to change it, put the modifications on that I have. I prefer it this way. My son uses this weapon in a lot of the skirmishes we go to. It's very manageable for him. The high round auto feed magazine means he doesn't have to wind it, doesn't have to think about it. He just goes off, starts shooting, and when it's empty he comes to find Dad and I fill it up again for him. Thanks for watching.